Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Paragon the Overprime and this video I'm just going to refer to it as Paragon uh, which is a remake of the original Paragon game by Epic Games uh, a tournament, an eSport tournament uh, on Twitch and I was blown away how fun it was actually watching it it actually uh, was a stream on uh, the Enchanted uh, Twitch uh, channel, this one and of course when you see an eSport game, uh, not by the way what you see here I'm going to show you just a little uh, clip in a moment it's so much more exciting than your well but than my uh casual game on quick play right now it's so exciting and super fun to watch especially when uh this the stream actually takes different uh camera angles to showcase the battlefield anyway the stream recording would cut off i just want to show you some gameplay some of the narrations you can actually feel you know how it was actually like <laughs> So, a few things. So, I want to say something, for example, one uh, competitive gameplay that I don't enjoy watching is, for example, Overwatch. I think it's just too chaotic, it's very hard to follow. And uh, if you want something on the opposite direction, this is Valorant, which is much slower paced and very, uh, you know, still, although it's slow, uh, it's still, you have the tension when you can, you know, kind of anticipate different moves and it's really fun to watch. So, uh, Paragon the Overpoint uh, is uh, something more closer to Overwatch, but again, uh, much more uh, easy, easier to follow on screen, which I think would translate to people more enjoying watching it. Uh, especially when you see, by the way, uh, because of the, again the large area, the no like small corridors is kind of a large open spaces, so it's easier I think to follow compared to everything that happens in a very very tight uh, locations. And of course, uh, unlike Overwatch, where the, lots of crazy movement and jumping stuff can happen, uh, in this game is less of that, and basically it's easier to follow what actually each character is doing. So I can really tell which character was which one, what actually uh, was taking place, which abilities were actually used. Uh, whether when I watch Overwatch, I just get completely confused, for example, and it's very hard for me to follow. That's why I not actually enjoy watching it. But I do enjoy playing it, but not watching it. Actually, right now I'm not even enjoy uh, playing Overwatch. But anyway, back to the point. So for me, the important part was watching the tournament and just see how it actually feels like viewing it. And it was, again, actually not to my surprise, but I was really happy that it's actually translated to really great viewing experience. Now keep in mind that I did play Overprime in previous playtests six months ago, and I wasn't impressed at all. Compared to now, uh, several months after, I'm just blown away how good the game is. And uh, uh, the gameplay feels amazing. The UI is just absolutely perfectly designed. Uh, I mean, I have some neat picks here and there that can think it improved, but overall, uh, the performance, the, the changes for the maps, the two maps by the way, but overall the design of the map. Uh, before that I just felt like it looked like a, a, an open world Zelda game type of design. We just changed it and reduced the clutter and it just looks so much better now. Well, although the production itself was very good, the casters were great and again the, the camera work uh, for uh, showcasing the game was also very good. Again there's a free roaming camera which you get positioned to give you a better view of what actually happening they did a very good job at that as well now this gonna get me so excited uh playing it before that i thought ah none of the other remakes are gonna be as good as predecessor but again now comparing the experience that i had with predecessor compared to overprime i have better experience now with overprime although personally i do prefer the map in predecessor but seeing again how the game uh plays when you play it more you learn to appreciate the design of the map uh in terms of strategic plays and stuff it takes time to get used to it for example when the stairs right now even if they are curved sometimes i'll just go back and just bump into the wall with my back whether here there is a little curve it actually allows some players to actually surprise you from the left and as you can see in front of you there's a place where uh, people can be invisible and can surprise the other team from the back so there are uh, design choices for the map that should make the game more exciting to play instead of strategic gameplay uh, and not just for you as a player, but also something that is really fun to watch uh, for viewers who enjoy watching this as an esport. So again, there are plenty of things that kind of uh, 
you know the developers are trying right now uh the most important thing of course to make the game really uh, stay alive is of course try to bring it to as many um, markets as possible so more players a uh, larger player base will be available and of course making sure that the game translates to a great esport experience as well uh and i think that the overprime <laughs> paragon the overprime uh just call it paragon i mean <laughs> just call it paragon you already get the name yeah, uh, is going to be uh, is on the right track, definitely on the right track. So again, if you watch the tournament, so if you just uh, uh, love Paragon, let me know what you think about Paragon as an esport. Uh, again, I'm very very uh, pleased with what we have so far. And again, if this is good and predecessor will be good, it will be very hard to choose between the two. But right now, Paragon Dover Prime is definitely on the right track. And that's about it for this video. Consider maybe leaving a like and subscribe. I'm gonna go back and play some more Overprime because I just love the game. See you soon. Cheers.